so I wanted to actually change something about my look at the moment and I feel like I want to cut a fringe, okay? It's just one of those decisions that I just made while having my tea and I didn't even finish my tea and I started recording because I wanted to show you guys how I cut my fringe. I did that years back and I'm gonna cut my fringe now after like ages so let's do that together, okay? So this is my current hair style. If you want to see how I create these little curls this is like my signature hairstyle i'll give you guys a link in the description make sure you watch that video now let's get straight into the fringe shall we and also if you notice i've gone a little darker with my hair never done that since ages but i'm quite happy because for this fall i just wanted like dark warm hair and so here i am okay so let's start with the fringe so the first step is just pull your hair back. If you have very unmanageable hair, then definitely make sure you put them in like a little, little bun or like a ribbon or something. And then what I'm gonna do next, by the way, I'm gonna attach a picture right here where you can see where I got my inspiration from. Okay, next what I'm gonna do, take some hair from here. And I'm gonna almost create like a V, okay? If you have one of those combs that have, have like a tail, that is better, but I think I've just lost mine, so I'm gonna be using my fingers to get like a neat V, okay? Okay, this is the best I could do. Let's do the other side. Okay guys, I see a V here. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna tie my hair away just so they don't disturb and interfere with the process. I haven't taken major hair, okay, because I don't want like a crazy transformation just in case I go wrong. At least I wouldn't have too much hair wasted if that makes sense. So I'm just using quite little hair, you know. Okay guys, so comb this strand thoroughly, okay. Hold it flat like this and now turn it over like this, like so. Turn around like this. Does that make sense? And this is the length that I want. I want them around my nose. I don't want them too short or too long. I want them around my nose. And now we're gonna cut it. Ooh. Oh my god. I haven't had French for ages. Okay, that makes me look like a boy, but what I'm gonna do now since check this picture this is what i was inspired by now this is how i'm gonna style my hair from now onwards this is gonna be my fall winter 2020 hair look okay i'm gonna keep them here on this side the fringe shall be at my left side okay according to the style here what i'm gonna do this little piece that we have here do you see it's so uneven so i'm gonna take that comb that a little bit and hold this slant that outwards if that makes sense so we have it longer at the end and short towards the inside like so there you go and then that way i have like this cute little piece here okay that way it's not flat anymore if you see you know it's a bit more bendable and now let's move to this side if everything is neat on this side, I don't think I'll have to cut anything here. Everything looks good on this side, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, just gonna trim it just very slightly, okay? Very, very slightly. I have an extra piece here, but it's okay, I'm gonna include that in the fringe, so cut it a little bit like this. And you see that on the outside we're a little longer, and on the inside we're a little shorter, and that's what you want. I'm just going to trim it just very slightly to make it a bit more even. I could have actually skipped this part because it's fine already, but I'm a little bit of a perfectionist, so open the rest of your hair. So what I like to do with my fringe next is just round it up like this from the mid part. You know, not from the ends, just like from the mid part, so it's like, like this like so and i'm gonna do the same on the other side just round it out from the middle not from the ends because otherwise your fringe starts looking really funny so just round it out from the middle part like this and then let it fall because if you curl it from the ends your fringe starts looking quite wobbly and weird and you don't want that of course and that is it 
now I know that this fringe is a bit more on the lighter side because of course Angelina as you can see in the picture has had a lot of I think she's wearing a fake fringe but if I was to replicate the same style I would have had to cut a bit more hair than this okay because she has a lot of like she has a thick fringe if that makes sense so as you can see her hair is literally coming from here so that means V should have been a bit up here so like it includes like lots more hair it would have included all of this hair as well okay but i don't want it too much as i said in the beginning i just want a slight bit change and sometimes i can get tired of fringes so quickly and then i want to just grow them out you know so if you do a little bit hair you know sometimes when you create different styles you can also quite easily manage to make them disappear into your longer hair pieces that is why i always prefer like thinner hair to be cut as a fringe and not too many hair as a fringe so next time you go to your salon lady tell her you want a fringe but you don't want a thick fringe you want less hair so whatever she's gonna take as a fringe don't let her cut it just tell her to take half of that chunk of hair and then cut that don't just go ahead and cut the whole chunk if that's what you want great i don't like that let me show you guys the chunk that i cut see so it's not many hair literally that's it this is it but when you go to a salon, they cut so many pieces of your hair. No, I want, basically, I want more of my hair to be falling. Like, I want my hair to be really thick and big. Well, thanks to Glam Growth Hair Oil, you know, since I've been using that, my hair has grown so long and it's also become really fuller. I've added a lot of thickness and fullness to my hair because obviously now they don't fall as much. I'll give you guys a link. Visit the website ishacosmetics.com. Get your Glam Growth Hair Oils. Listen, this is how they look like. Visit the website Isha Cosmetics and get you some Glam Growth Hair Oils. It's gonna change your life. It's gonna change your hair care game, trust me. Now, let's try to replicate her style a bit more, shall we? Just for fun. So I think she has a little bit of puff hair. So I'm not gonna really use like that combing. I'm just gonna take a few pieces of hair. She has, yeah, well, she's definitely back combed it, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna take a few pieces like this and then just create a little bit of that fullness by pushing them upwards and then using bully pins like so I think I just figured out my new signature hairstyle which this style was really old for me because I used to carry this hairstyle literally when I was freshly out of uni this was my hair I had a chunky fringe not like this but and she also has this side part on like this side here and round it up a little bit like this all right guys i think for the most part i'm there what do you guys think new fringes take time to settle to their new place it's just like when you move to a new place you take time to settle down it's the same with a fringe okay so my fringe is super super silky and smooth at the moment it's gonna take a while for it to settle i mean look at that it just keeps coming back to its place but again what you have to do you have to round them up on the middle like this you know like do you see the roundness it also makes your fringe look a little fuller even though this is very few hair but it still looks a little full look at that do you see the roundness it just looks very pro and because the fringe is a little longer on the outside and we've made it round it looks like it's done professionally nobody can tell this was done at home guys i think i'm very happy with this if you guys have any comments any remarks any suggestions anything let me know down in the comments below do subscribe to the channel if you guys want more hair tips or anything like this let me know what you want to see from me next my hair care video is coming up also my hair color video is coming up next on my channel so make sure you keep an eye out on that too guys take care of yourself take care of your well-being because that's very important bye